When I was growing up, I had this fantasy that I was from another family. It sounds awful when I say it out loud, but it was comforting to me because I didn't really fit into my family. I was raised by my dad's side, my paternal grandparents specifically. My mom was 15 when I was born and my dad was 17, and it's an understatement to say that they were not ready to raise a child. So my grandparents adopted me. In my family, I was supposed to be this rural country boy who liked fishing and hunting and dirt bikes, and that was not me. I was uh, small and frail, tragically gay, and, <laughs> and very nerdy. When I, uh, I graduated from high school, the first in my family, and then I went on to college, and then I went to medical school, and now I'm a doctor, and thank you. <laughs> And my family is very proud of me, but sometimes they look at me and say, where the hell did you come from? <laughs> and I had a friend who helped, tried to help me answer that question about five years ago when he got me the 23andMe DNA Ancestry service. Well, my results showed that I am 100% European, basically just very white. <laughs> so I didn't think much about it again until this summer when my, my dad's sister, my paternal aunt, sent me a screenshot. She had just got 23andMe herself, and her results showed that she had 35% more Neanderthal DNA than most of their customers, <laughs> which she felt was a very rude thing to be told after spending $150 for their service. <laughs> we started laughed about that. I had a lot of Neanderthal DNA too. And uh, then we started looking at our results, and we saw that we weren't a DNA match, which was odd, since she's my aunt. And then uh, we, thought it must be a fluke, so we looked at our family trees, and then we saw we had no relatives in common. So then things started to move sort of in slow motion for a minute, as we both realized that I must not be related to my dad's side of the family, the side that raised me. So uh, this was a lot to process in the moment, but then I saw that I had a bunch of unread messages in my 23andMe account, which I never log into, from a cousin that I also don't know, named Amber. Amber was an avid 23andMe user, and she was trying to put together her family tree herself. And she had been messaging me over the years, asking me, who is your dad? Because she was trying to figure out how I fit into her family tree. I don't know, Amber. I, <laughs> I said back to her. I'm trying to figure that out, I guess. And so she messaged back, instantly, apparently she's always online. <laughs> and she said that she supplied me a name, Chad Scott. It was somebody who was one of her uncles that she thought met my, met my, di my uh, demographic characteristics. So I, I searched Chad Scott on Facebook and sure enough, I had a name pop up and I had one mutual friend with this Chad Scott, my mother. Now, I hadn't talked to my mother in several years, but that did not stop me from calling her immediately. <laughs> Mom, I said, and I'm very direct with my mother, I know my dad isn't my real dad, I think it's Chad Scott. <laughs> and my mom's a good liar, but I really believe that she was just as shocked as I was. <laughs> I had sex with him, she admitted, but I think it was, I thought it was after you were conceived. Well, I seem to have relatives with a guy, so I think you're wrong. <laughs> Mind you, this all happened in one night, so I took the next day off work. <laughs> and I used that day to call my family and uh, tell them what I'd learned. And everybody kind of had the same reaction, which was, shit, well, we always knew you were different. <laughs> and then their next question was, what do you want to do about it? Do you want to contact your new family? I thought about that. I mean, it was kind of this fantasy that I had for my entire childhood and growing up. But I was kind of surprised to realize I didn't really need to or I didn't really care. I think when I was a kid, I looked to my family to help define who I was. I think a lot of us probably do that. But as an adult, I realized that I don't need to look to my family, I, I don't need to 
see how well I fit in with my relatives to define my identity, I get to define that for myself. And I realize I've outgrown that fantasy. Thank you.